Hey guys, it's Eric's Piano School here, and today I'm going to be recording a piano tutorial on the song Gaston, arranged in the Piano Adventure series, level one, so the Red Disney book. And I've had several of my piano students who uh, have been learning this song, and so I figured I would record this so that uh, it could assist in their practice. Hopefully it helps you in your practice too. Anyway. Um, so let's start off by, I'm going to play the first section, which goes all the way up to uh, measure 15, which is the hand shift. First, I'll just start with that, and then we can talk about it. Gosh, it disturbs me to see this thong looking so down in the dumps. Every guy he loved to be a guest So now we'll talk about uh, that section. And so we see in the top left corner our hand map. And we also, so our right hand, our thumb is on a C. And our left hand thumb is on B. Now um, our very first note is on a finger two. And so we start, we go D, 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 D. sharp and B and play those three times in a row now you'll notice that the articulation in measure one of those notes we have the dot underneath them which means we're gonna play it with a detached sound gosh it disturbs me too and in measure two we have that slur marking which tells us we're gonna have a long connected sound and so what makes this so effective is that we have these very short sounds and then these long sounds which creates this nice contrast Gosh, it disturbs me to see you Gaston. Now, make sure that at the end of the measure, as we're going on to the next line, that you're thinking about, in measure four, how that is a, um, a dotted half note, which means three beats. So you're continuing to feel the rhythm even while you're holding that long sound. Just do that one more time, nice and slow. You can play it with me. One, two, three, one. Ready? Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston. And measure five, starting on finger three. Looking so down in the dumps. Two, three, one, two, three. Notice how in measure eight, so this is the last measure of line two, I didn't replay that note because of the tie. So um, I know it can be confusing because we have the slur marking that goes from measure six down in the dumps, which is nice and long connected, but then we don't replay the A. Um, we have a similar articulation style, meaning we play the short sounds in measure five, looking so, and then immediately change to down in the dumps. Then we go to measure nine or line three, and, and we could take a quick glance and see Oh wait, we start on D. Every guy he loved to be a guest on. That's the exact same thing as our line number one, uh, where it says, gosh, it disturbs me. So, um, so we've already learned those first three lines just by learning the first two. And so let's jump down to measure 13 now. So again, this actually starts the same as line two um, on the E, and there's gonna be a little bit of change that happens in measure 15 and 16 as we see um, where we start on finger three one two three one ready go three 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 four three two then our left hand and our right hand shift from right hand thumb on c left hand thumb on b to moving up a white key now the left hand thumb is on a c the right hand thumbs on a d and we play that left hand on theirs. Then we play this chord, and so the top note of the left hand is playing a C, and then a skip below, also on a line, finger three on A. Now our right hand is playing F. No man in town as admired as you. Now, the next real section is kind of going to the bottom of the page. So maybe I will play from measure 16. So one measure before, or the last measure of page one. 
going to the end of page two because that's kind of the start of a musical phrase there's no and then i'm gonna go until um uh not very hard to see why and then we're going into this next section no one slip so i'll play that starting in my our new hand position there's no stop there so um we already did measure 17 let's do it one more time now that you've kind of heard the section that i played and we're starting we can actually let's start one measure back in measure 16 because i made a big deal about starting at the beginning of a musical sentence so we start with our left hand thumb one two three one ready go c two three chord Um, really important in measure 20 so we have that half note on mired as half note walk and sometimes students rhythmically they um, don't hold the D long enough and then they because those are two D's in a row it ends up feeling like they are the same note value when in actuality they're uh, it's lopsided half note walk half note walk like an egg rolling down the road um one more time starting from measure 16 c two three now if we go to measure 25 conveniently a lot of the material is the same as the top of this page the first line um one two three measure 25 two three one ready go everyone's on and inspired by you and it's not very hard to see why now um at the end of line three we have our you and, and our right hand plays a thumb. We walk up four notes. One, two, three, four. And then we do it again, jumping down to very hard to see why. Now, um, I think I could even exaggerated the ritardando even more. And that RIT in measure 30 says we're going to actually slow down a little bit as we get to the final chord. And we're going to slow down gradually is the, the key important thing. So um, I'm going to start at measure 25, and we're going to go all the way until measure 31, or very hard to see why. So we start on the chord, right hand finger three on F, left hand finger one on C, and three on A. One, two, three, one, right. Notice how I'm always kind of counting us in, and I think it's also a good practice when you're playing by yourself to just be thinking a full measure. So I'm saying one, two, three, one, ready, go, because we have three beats in every measure. So I'm giving six total beats before we start with a very steady tempo, and that's going to make us more successful. Um, I think it'll be best to break this into two different parts, so we will stop here and uh, stay tuned for part two, which is the last two pages. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Happy practicing.